Hi fellow reefers, this is Eddie from Eddie's Reef Aquarium. Today I thought I'd bring the topic of a coral named Syriatopora, better known as a bird nest coral. Uh, I happen to have two, if you notice, there's one on the top of the tank and the other one here on the mid-level of the tank. Uh, these corals are very easy to uh, keep, uh, although they are both bird nests, but in reference to the genus, I have done some research and checking them out. Uh, some of these bird nests, believe it or not, they actually come from shallow waters, meaning that they get a lot of uh, uh, sun, and others come from deeper waters. Of course, meaning the opposite, that they don't get as much as sunlight. Uh, with this being said, uh, what I'm trying to explain is that if you happen to get a bird nest that is from the genus, of um, deeper waters and you put it way up to the top, middle, or, or you bombard it with a lot of uh, light, it will start to bleach out. And the same thing will hold true of a uh, bird's nest coral that's used to, uh, let's say, to strong lights in its natural habitat and you put it way down on the substrate and the lights aren't that powerful, it also will start to bleach. Now these corals will take the configuration and the, the shapes when it comes to the ends as they grow in reference to the water current, how the water current is affecting those specific corals. This introductory video that I'm starting before I, I do some uh, uh, direct shots, I thought I'd, I'd bring this topic up, but you will see that in some of these, like for instance on this one and even on that one uh, when I bought them, which wasn't too long ago, it was just like regular little sticks, shall we call it. Now they have started to protrude or to uh, extend. And in reference to the current that they're getting from the MP10 over at the other end of the tank is how they're behaving when it comes to the actual growth of the coral. So I hope you enjoy um, this video. As I said, this is just the introductory. Now I'm going to uh, shoot some close-ups. And if you did enjoy this video, uh, please don't hesitate to hit the like button or if you want to subscribe to my channel and like I always say thank you for watching